A lot of people don't understand the hustle. And really, you don't even understand the grind. It's cats out here that want it so bad, they'll do anything for it. They eat it, they sleep it, and they breathe it. I go by the name of Ryan, but most people call me O. And me and my team, we decide to go to every barbershop in the city to find out who's the best or who think they the best. <laughs> now, the barbershop is a place where a lot of cats go <laughs> to work out their problems and to make some. They talk about their controversy, politics. You watching the game, eating some barbecue, and get what you need, if you know what I mean. The barbershop is a place of life. It gives life. And sometimes it even take it. But I want to know who about that life. That barber life. So today the Falcons take on the Saints. And it's only right that we head to the north side and holler at them boys at the N.O. Flow Barbershop. At first I had seen all... All the money my cousin was making. And then my auntie had told me I had to start paying rent. So I had to uh, boss up. About 25 years? Yeah, 41, you know what I'm saying? So it's, 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 it's one of those. I've been doing it so long, man, I probably do it with my eyes closed, you know? My grandfather, so he had his own barbershop in the basement. Um, I've seen him cut a lot of heads doing that. Uh, he would take me with him around the city, different barbershops, you know, while he was conducting his business or whatnot. So I was always around the barbershop. I used to work in the barbershop when I was 12. Long for like 9 to 12, I worked in the barbershop in the neighborhood. So, you know, clean the floor, stick out the trash, you know, make sure they stay clean, all that kind of stuff. With the lifestyle change, time for a lifestyle change. Had to pump out the streets, man. Find something better. It's a lot of hard work, sweat going to this, man. They just see us and think it look good. They don't understand the stress and strain that come that come with it. Like I said, my story a little different. It was the '80s, late '80s, and it wasn't. Barbering wasn't, wasn't what it was, you know what I'm saying? Or ain't what it is now, you know what I'm saying? Because it wasn't a lot of barbershops where you can go and get designs and you can get this and that, you know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of barbers had just really started cutting hair, you know. I was a I was a hood barber, you know what I'm saying? I was I was on the porch in the house, you know what I'm saying? I fell in love with it. As soon as I touched the clippers, I fell in love with it. And been on them ever since. Now here is they they really own it. They really live that, that hair life. So there's a lot of competition down here. A lot of competition. But I don't see nothing. I got a passion for it. A lot of people don't. They just cut just to cut hair. But I really, I really got a passion for this. I have that tight. I don't want to be the best barber. I want to have the most clients. I got to feed the family. It's about investing, man. The future, man. Life is a marathon, not a sprint. You run all the way out, then what you going to do? You going to try to take something somebody else don't work to get? I done been down the road, man. Knowledge is the best thing you can obtain in your life, man. Money come and go, but that knowledge is going to stay. You can pass that on from generation to generation. I'm in my own lane, you feel me? So I, don't, I, ain't, I ain't in the competition, man. You know? I just do me. I take pride in my work, you know what I'm saying? And I just do me. As far as being in Atlanta, I like the barber scene here. It's, it's, it's a lot uh, a lot bigger than where I'm from, you know? Uh, the 
cuts, you know, it's a lot of different most styles and haircuts because there's you know, diversity of people here, so you see a lot of different cuts, but I like it, man. It's on a huge scale here in Atlanta, man. I, I like the barbecue. It's so futuristic now with, with haircuts, man, just with haircuts. And I, I'm not knocking the enhancements and all that, but before it was that, you know, before it was the enhancements and all that, you had to be a, a, just a natural barber. You had to be able to use the razor, the scissors, you know what I'm saying? The chemicals wasn't for everybody for us with a haircut. When I was, when chemicals was in the hair, it was, it was in there. It was either perm, the press, the curl, or whatever, but it didn't change so much now, man to the point where it's still exciting though, man. You know, you, 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 gotta, you gotta tap the young people, pat them on the back sometimes. You gotta tap the young people on the back sometimes, bro, because they're not all bad. They don't all, you know, come off wrong or whatever, but at the end of the day, man, it's just progress, bro. Man, when I was cutting in the hotels and basements and rooms, people houses, you know what I'm saying? I, I really achieved a lot. I really improved a lot. First, I, can't, I didn't know how to do color. Now I'm doing color. A lot of things I didn't know how to do, and now I know how to do it now. Cause I stuck to it, stuck to the grind. You gotta find the people that gonna support you. You gotta support yourself first before you can support anybody else. That's what we fail to realize. We don't wanna support ourselves first. You gotta invest in yourself. Take money to make money. We see folks on TV with money. Well, man, they, they took their money and invested in themselves so they can make some money. You can't take the little money you got and spend it, then you broke again, man. That's bad. You're gonna never get nowhere like that. I'm trying to keep the legacy going like my daddy had. Do it. Just continue doing it. It's in, it's in my bloodline. So I just want to keep cutting out. If I don't, I want to have me a I give me a couple barbershops. I have school. You yet to be, man, what count me for a Mayweather? You count me money Mayweather. I'm the best of all time. The best of all time. I lost the bet. You ain't, that's the only bet you won, bro. Basically, man, to the, to the, to the youngins that's coming out, y'all excuse me, I'm sweating, it's real, that is real, that's real. To the youngins, man, it's good to want your own man, but you gotta remember, you can still stay steady and work your way up to the top. Just for somebody else get theirs right then. You know, you still gotta keep your keep your A plan and your B plan. You know what I'm saying? Just in case whatever don't work out, but having your own is always eventually the key to any success that you wanna have in America. You know what I'm saying? I've been cutting hair since I was 14 years old and make 14 years in the game. Just let you know, I ain't come to play with you. I'm flying nothing but pressure, no matter what it is. No matter what it is, but just stay focused. And, you know what I'm saying? If you believe in something, then go for it. You know what I'm saying? I believe I can be one of the best barbers in Atlanta, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? I know I can, and I know I am, so. You know what I'm saying? We just gonna leave it like that. But more love and respect to everybody that's doing it. And a whole two, a year and a half, you only want one bet. I gave you that bet. Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, that's a food bet, bro. That's the only bet you won. You lost last night. We ain't gonna talk about last weekend. Barber Life Atlanta. Barber Life Atlanta.